Hey guys, Crewman here, and I had a pretty sweet video scheduled to film today, and then these showed up at my door and changed everything. PCSP has been kind enough to send me four more Octominers. Now these ones are empty, and they have two 1200 watt PSUs. I didn't want to have 48 of these 30, 470s. I want them to go to people who will use them. I actually have a pretty sweet video coming up on what I'm doing with them all. Key, they're not gonna end up like this, they're gonna end up like this, which is the gaming GPU. But anyway, um, we have four more Octominers from PCSP, which brings me to a total of five of them, and this will allow me to finish off my shed to get everything into Octominers. So, thank you to PS PCSP for sponsoring this video series. It's gonna be probably three or four videos. I'm probably gonna be doing this over the course of a week, uh, getting my form to what I hope is, for now anyway, it's final form. So before I go in my shed, I first want to unbox one of the Octominers and I want to show you the difference between the three 750s that come with GPUs and the two 1200 watt ones that come with no GPUs. So as you guys know, I asked for the models that had no GPUs in them as I don't need 48 more random GPUs that I can't use. Now I want to show you these ones. There's a little bit of, a, there's a few differences I noticed. This is the two by 1200 watt uh, Octominer, so they only have two of the PSU slots populated, but it looks like you could just quickly remove this slot right here, which is pretty cool. Taking the power supply out, it is a standard, it says Octominer certified, but a standard 1200 watt HP PSU, which is pretty good. So I can add, definitely add three in there if I want. Now the cool thing is I need less C19 or less cables to plug these in two instead of three, and I end up with more power, 2400 watts instead of 2400 or 2100 watts. Um, everything still looks the same. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over real quick. We just flipped it over. Uh, let me remove the screws. This screwdriver is so amazing. Everybody needs to buy this screwdriver. I don't get any money for, for that, but this is just makes life so much easier. I am in love with the amount of times I'm gonna have to open up server cases in the next few days. Oh my goodness. So let me fast forward this. All right, so pulling out the top of the Octo Miner. I'm looking to make sure if there's three slots for the breakout board. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see it here. I'll try to put the light on it. But there's a slot for the third break, the third PSU. So you can just take this cover off right here and put the uh, third PSU in. But everything looks the same. Uh, it came with an SSD. It has the, the cables it comes with. Uh, looking at the AWG of these cables, they are 18 AWG, which is fine. Um, they're basically the same as the other Octo Miner. So, you know, if you're going to put 170 HXs in, I would cap it at six. Um, the bar also doesn't come with the foam. I don't really think that matters. But otherwise, they look the same. Uh, no, no issues. I do think that one of, oh, there's, um, there's a bag in here. What's this bag for? Uh, it looks like the bag is for, oh, sweet. So it comes with, so it has a bag that comes with screws to screw everything in. I didn't think they were going to give us that. All right, good on, good on PCSP for that. Uh, I'm assuming everybody else has gotten those if you've ordered the two 1200 watt ones. So please leave me a message down below in the comments if you haven't. Uh, but they look like they haven't been mined on. They, they, there's no dust and you can, I mean, there's some scratches on the case, which is fine, but you can definitely tell when something's been mined on. Now it looks, you know, beat up on the outside, but that's just because they probably moved them around. So yeah, I mean, everything looks great. Everything's here. I just wanted to open one up real quick to show you guys. Uh, I will most likely be taking one rig and taking the fans and putting them outside here. And I will most likely add fan grills onto uh, some of these, some of these, depending on how close the GPUs or the cables get to the fans. So I'll put an Amazon link down below for those as well. This is a little bent. Uh, it's not a big deal. I could just bend that back, but I do want to let you know that that was there. All right, so I just wanted to show you a quick unboxing of the two by 1200 watt, and you can compare this to my review where I opened up one of the fully populated ones that had three 750 watt PSUs in them. And now, without further ado, I want to go into the shed and show you the changes that I plan on making over the next few days to a week. I don't know how long it's going to take. And I'm super excited to share it with you. 
So here you can see my shed. There hasn't been any changes really since December when I bought all those server cases. At the time I thought that was it for cheap server cases. And I was basically right until PCSP showed up at the scene. And thanks to them and their generosity, I am able to do a lot of work to the shed. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 40 series rig and I'm going to go ahead and put it into one of my newer Octominer X12 Ultras. Uh, and because it has enough power and enough space to hold all my 40 series, then I'm going to take those 12 3070s in there and I'm going to split them between two of the PCSP rigs. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 12 card 3060 Ti rig and I'm going to move it to an Octominer. They're the same dimensions and the same size, so I should be able to move it over one to one, no problem. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 6 card 3070 Ti rig and I'm either going to add one more or just leave it as is and put it in one of the PCSP Octominers. So one thing these PCSP server cases are allowing me to do is to get rid of all of these one-off rigs that are on open airframes if it makes sense. I'm going to take the 2080 Ti off this one and maybe the 3090 and just put some random hodgepodge 30 series in it and make it my only one-off 30 series rig as it doesn't make sense to sell those GPUs. Um, I don't plan on putting the AMD rig into a server case because it's just easy to get to. Uh, and same with the 1660 Super rig. I'm just going to leave them out as they don't take up a ton of space. Um, one thing I do want to do is I want to get rid of all of my not good mining cases, basically leaving that Virtue frame and that eBay case being the only non octo miners I have. Uh, I want to get rid of everything else as I just like the control that you get with the octo miners too much. And that server case is going to go as well. I'm probably going to sell that and the BC 160s inside of it because I just don't want to own so many random GP rigs anymore. So that's it for this video, guys. I'm really looking forward to you getting the shed fixed up. I honestly did not think it would be possible to put everything into Octo Miners. I thought my time was done and I was just happy with what I had. But thanks to PCSP for A, sponsoring this video and B, even having these Octo Miners to sell at this price to make this possible. If I can do it, you guys certainly can do it too. And $300 Octo Miners really, really changes the game. Frankly, at this point, it is literally cheaper to buy one of these Octo Miners ready to go then to build an open airframe airframe rig most of the time. What a crazy world we live in. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, stay tuned for a few more of these. I'm excited to share everything. Please like and subscribe for more GPU, CPU, and crypto mining content. Fruitman, out.